Once again, we are back here in Skyrim on the PS4, and we're back in Riverwood, and it's looking pretty. It's a nice, beautiful day out. The sky is clear because I've cast a spell that makes it that way. But hi, guys, it's Anaconda kind of Squeeze, and today we're showing you another player house mod. This is the My Riverwood House. Uh, this mod is brought to us by Jamster Gaming. So, what you're going to do is you're kind of Riverwood, take an immediate left once you get in the wall, and you're going to kind of wander. I wish there was a path this way, but just look, look at that house. Look how pretty that is. Like, that is gorgeous. That is a beautiful house. Like, that is well done. It's in a nice spot. Uh, you get on the river. You got a little boat going on here. The pier. Like, it looks just gorgeous in here. A little waterfall right there. Some little waterfall action. I'm going to take a quick peek just around to see if there's anything out behind here or anything around there like that. We don't want to miss anything. We don't want to miss something cool. We got a rock on the side of the house. We got a bit of a rock for our house. Looks like it's not a whole lot of anything kind of kicking around here. Do we have cows, though? We've got cows, and we've got a little bench, and a lamp, and some hay, and that's about it. Nothing too crazy outside here. Let's jump over these cows. Oh, we got a, is it a beekeeper thing? A, a smelter. Never mind, it's not a beekeeper. We got a smelter outside. I'm assuming the rest is inside. Two sets of stairs. We got some stuff on the outside. Let's head indoors. And the main reason I chose this house was honestly because like it looked aesthetically pleasing from the outside. Like, it gorgeous from the outside. I was like extremely excited when I saw uh, the picture of the outside came in game here, and it looked even better. What the heck? Except it's over fourteen thousand. That was a a weird attempt at a Dragon Ball Z reference. That's over fourteen thousand. Ooh, some stuff and some stuff and stuff. Okay, what else we got here? Dragonborn stuff, the little tiny things. We've got a slaughter fish on the wall. We do have some. Oh, what's in this? What is this? The Life Taker. Let's take this as a peek at it. Let's go check this out. Weapons. The Life Taker. I have way too many things. We need to get rid of some stuff here. We need to get rid of a whole bunch of this. The Life Taker. Let's have a peek here. All it does is absorbs 10 points of health. Not too crazy, but you could sell it for 2500 bucks. Maybe. Well, that's not too bad. We're going to take it anyways here. Some storage barrels. We've got... A bed, we've got a chest here for us. Wardrobe, wardrobe, nothing secret there. Bunch of, can we actually take this food? Let's see if we can take this food. Yeah, we can take all this stuff. Okay, perfect, because it scares me sometimes. I hate when we get houses that are so decorated, and then, like, every now and then you want to take it, but you can't. A nice little moose elk thing there. Oh, is this our tanning rack? What's this? Nope, that's nothing. What is that? Oh, rabbits, that's what it is. Oh, I was trying to figure out what I can grab there. Heading downstairs. Here's the rest of our crafting stuff here. We've got empty chests. We've got a thank you. What is that? Oh, 2,000 gold for a thank you. Flower basket. We've got some armor on some shelves here. Lots of lovely gems and stuff. Leather. Leather strips. There is supposed to be a thank you note somewhere in here. I imagine it's in the chest I didn't check in. Some stuff here. All in all, this is pretty cool. we got a mannequin, weapon rack. Oh, a little tiny storage. Some theme storage here. Excellent. Ingots for us to take. A little bit of crafting and some spell stuff for us to take. Let's use the alchemy lab. Let's put these extra things on it for no reason. Yeah, it looks like it. This is not a bad house. Like, it's definitely not the worst house we've seen. And it looks gorgeous from the outside. The outside house looks great. And this is another one of those houses. I know we talk about it a lot. And I do quite a few of them. Where it's houses that are located right at a riverwood that are very easy access early in the game. You don't have to worry about things. Uh, if, if you're like me, where sometimes you want to mix it up, you don't want to go like right over to White Run and do all that stuff. Like you want to explore, you want to mess around over here before you go anywhere. This is a great step to have a house where you can actually store things and do stuff. Let's see, what we got here. This house has been leased to those in need of rest and storage. You may do with it whatever you want. You won't find a better house in Riverwood. That's kind of cool. So again, a little bit of lore, like not the most in-depth lore description we've had, but it's better than just saying, here's a house that you're by. So I do appreciate that. But yeah, just a nice little step to have. It gives you options early in the game. And plus the house like this, like this is a house, like we've done the ones in the past where it's a very simple shack and that's all you need to just kind of take over and like store things until you can get to Whiterun and buy houses there. This one is kind of like, it's a nice enough house where you could keep this on for the majority of your play. Like, everything you need is right here. It looks gorgeous. It's very early access. You can fast travel to it. This is a very good house to keep for a while, at least, until you find a mod that's better. 
Like, all in all, guys, I definitely recommend it. Make sure you go check out the link in the description below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you show your support and like the video. And if you haven't already, guys, definitely remember to subscribe. Uh, my name is Anaconda Squeeze. I will see you all fucking later. Bye.